I'm Associate Professor Tan Le Kong, the Head and Senior Consultant at the Department of Maternal Fetal Medicine in KK Women's and Children's Hospital. I am an obstetrician and gynaecologist with a special interest in managing high-risk pregnancies and those complicated by medical conditions. There is now good evidence to show that being pregnant and unvaccinated increases the risk of developing severe complications from COVID-19. This is now all the more concerning as there are new variants of the virus now, such as the current Delta variant, which are not only more infectious, but are also more likely to cause severe complications requiring oxygen and respiratory support. We now know that pregnant women over the age of 35 with a body mass index of over 30 and who have pre-existing comorbidities like diabetes and high blood pressure are more likely to develop severe symptoms from COVID-19. This is relevant to Singapore as we have one of the world's highest rates of diabetes in pregnancy or gestational diabetes, affecting about one in five pregnant women. COVID-19 is also more severe if pregnant women are infected in the third trimester. We now know from international data that for women who have symptoms from COVID-19, about half will have cesarean births, one in four of them will have a chest infection or pneumonia, one in five will need respiratory support, and one in 10 will need intensive care. With the Delta variant that is highly infectious, these proportions have increased even more. One in three have pneumonia, one in eight need intensive care, and even deaths have been reported. Indeed, in the UK, one in six of the most critically ill patients are unvaccinated pregnant women with COVID-19. Our worry is that this is beginning to be mirrored in Singapore, with increasing numbers of unvaccinated COVID-19 positive pregnant women being admitted to our hospitals compared to last year, and an increasing number requiring respiratory support. Currently, over two-thirds of our COVID-19 positive pregnant women are in their third trimester. Although the majority of these pregnant women experienced mild symptoms, these were mostly unvaccinated women who developed complications like pneumonia and required oxygen support and closed monitoring. The average length of stay for these women is about two to three weeks if unvaccinated. Besides the patients that I see at KKH's clinics, I have also been giving talks on COVID-19 in pregnant women and the importance of vaccination in the community. A lot of pregnant women tell me that they have many concerns. And the most common questions are, can I take it later? Is it safe or effective? And will it affect my baby? And can I wait and see? These are valid questions. And through this video, I hope to address them. Pregnant women are at increased risk for severe pregnancy complications if infected with the virus. They are twice as likely to need intensive care compared to non-pregnant women and 18 times more likely compared to non-infected pregnant women. The latest data also shows an increased risk of preeclampsia, high blood pressure in pregnancy, as well as increased risk of stillbirth, although this is still relatively low. COVID-19 may cause the pregnant woman to develop blood clots in the veins which could result in a life-threatening blood clot in the lungs, which blocks blood flowing through for gas exchange. One in three symptomatic COVID-19 positive pregnant women will have a preterm birth. This is not because COVID-19 causes the woman to go into early labour, but because doctors have to deliver the baby much more early as the mother is very unwell, and delivering the baby will relieve the womb and the burden on the stressed heart and lungs. The baby is then exposed to risk of prematurity and one in five of these babies would need neonatal intensive care themselves. What is very clear is that international data shows that hardly any fully or double vaccinated pregnant women were admitted with symptomatic COVID-19, showing that vaccination is protective. So we recommend pregnant women to not wait take the vaccine sooner than later and as early as possible in pregnancy. Pregnant women, including women intending to conceive and breastfeeding women, should take the COVID-19 vaccination because it is safe and protects the woman and her baby. Taking the vaccination does not affect one's fertility. 
So far, we know that over 170,000 pregnant women in the USA have received a COVID-19 vaccination using the Pfizer, BioNTech or Moderna vaccines with no concerns identified. These mRNA vaccines are not live vaccines. Data shows that there is no increased risk of adverse pregnancy outcomes like miscarriage, fetal abnormalities or preterm deliveries. Vaccination also does not change the mode of delivery. Importantly, the vaccine does not change the DNA or the genetic makeup of the individual nor the baby. Studies show that the mRNA vaccines generate antibody production in both pregnant and breastfeeding women. These antibodies are transferred passively across the placenta to the baby antenatally or before birth, and antibodies have also been detected in breast milk after vaccination. The side effects for the pregnant woman are the same that one experiences when taking any vaccination, like the flu vaccination. Side effects are temporary and include soreness on injection site, slight fever, aches, fatigue, etc. With ample rest and by staying hydrated, these side effects should wear off in a few days. There are rising cases of COVID-19. Worldwide, pregnant women are dying from the virus. Evidence has proven that the vaccines are safe and effective in all stages of pregnancy. It can protect mother and baby, so even if infected with COVID-19, the pregnant woman is not likely to suffer from severe disease. In fact, we know that in the UK and the US, around 97% of COVID-19 positive pregnant women hospitalised were unvaccinated. This shows that vaccination works in protecting pregnant women from severe disease. There are a lot of fake news and misinformation targeting the fears of pregnant women. I would like to encourage women to access credible resources or consult their doctors if in doubt. Do not wait. Get the COVID-19 vaccination to protect you, your baby and loved ones. COVID-19 vaccination in pregnancy is safe COVID-19 infection is not. Life is precious. Don't wait till it's too late.